Start by downloading the Vagrant installation files. So go to vagrantum.com, click on download, and locate the download for your particular operating system. If you're using Windows 10, you're going to want the installation for Windows 64-bit. Click on the download link and save the file. Make sure you know where you're saving the file. By default, it's going to tend to go to, to your downloads directory. I saved mine in my downloads directory. Locate the Vagrant MSI file. This is the Windows installation file. Double click and then give it permission to run by clicking Run. When the installer comes up, click Next. Accept the terms and agreement. You can leave the installation directory the default, or you can change it. And then click Install. Vagrant will start installing, and it's going to need administrative privileges. So the user account control pop-up will show, and you'll need to click Yes. When the installation completes, this screen will show, and you can click Finish. And then you'll need to restart the system to complete the installation process. Go ahead and restart the system. When the system's done restarting, go ahead and log back in. Open up a command prompt and type in Vagrant. You should see a list of commands that Vagrant can run. This confirms that Vagrant environment variable has been set that contains the path to the Vagrant executable. You can also install plugins to Vagrant. For example, you can install the Vagrant Reload plugin by typing the following. Vagrant plugin install and then the name of the plugin, for example, Vagrant Reload. You should see a message that says that the plugin is beginning to install and it'll say that this can take a few minutes and that's definitely true. Once the plugin has been downloaded and installed, you should see a success message.